Hey everybody, welcome into this new tutorial. So if you have a pending transaction into the Ethereum network, let's see what we can do here into this pending transaction. So first of all, you need to understand what could be possibly happening. What is the main reason why your transaction is taking so long into approve this so if you go into our metamask actually this works on almost every wallet but in my case i'm going to be using metamask because here it is a transaction i want you guys to show you that i just made just a few uh weeks ago so for example here i'm going to click into this contract interaction here's the status confirmed uh in your case it might be saying pending so what you want to do is to view this on the block splatter so this one is going to be redirecting us into the uh, scan section of the ether scan so as you can see here you can see all the transaction details the overview the status and if you scroll low it down you're going to click in to see more here's the information that might be the reason why your transaction is taking so long so if you're making more than one transaction and those are still pending, that might be the reason. Maybe it's the first transaction that you just made a few minutes ago that's, that's making everything just go, just stay into the pending section. So if you look into this um, a specific example, there are three transactions that was made like just from one minute each time. So let's say this was the very first transaction, it was impending, it didn't work. So you kind of did another one so it can be done and you did another one and none of those were moving around. So you might go like, what is happening here? So if you click into the first pending transaction, you might be seeing like the main reason of the transaction pending is the gas limit and the cost. So sometimes you're even paying a lot of gas price. So the 125 way here, um, it's a lot in order for making a transaction. But as you can see, here's the known's position. The known's position is number four. Sometimes there are a few transactions that the known's position is like 400 or 500 or 200 or 67. This is like the position. The lowest the number, the better. Because it's going to be really more faster. So as you can see, the time last seen it was 10 minutes ago. So what you guys want to do is to click into the your MetaMask. And in here, you want to click in here and go into the settings section to find the advanced setting. And scroll all the way down so you can find the customized transaction nuns. So in here, you want to enable this because we want to uh, send to ourselves some more ether to make another transaction. So this can be like unlocked or let's say reset. So you want to choose the same nonce here. So now that you've made that, you want to click into the X section, go into the same network you're going to be using. Let's say, for example, uh, Ethereum, go into send, go into your Ethereum, copy exactly your same wallet and we're going to be sending zero ethereum so if you see in here it's going to be asking you for a transaction fee so in here what you guys want to do is that you can use the values there are in here into your transaction but you need to use a higher one so if the gas limit says 21 three zeros you have to put 22 or 23 and the gas price you can make this a little bit more upper side or the other thing is that we can go into the eth gas station.info to see what is the recommended priority fee into the we into the gway so let's say for example here the gas price uh number two faster five minutes safe flow. so i'm going to stick with the two here so if you go back into your metamask wallet we have to use two number two right because and before you go into confirmed now that you go into next it's going to be asking you for a custom nonce that's the main reason we enable that in our band settings for metamask so if you go back into your pending transaction you might see that the nonce position in this case in this example says number three so what you guys want to do is to use exactly the same custom nonce because this one is going to be replacing the latest transaction and it's going to be making like a reset here into the ethos can is going to be now just have to be just a little bit more patient guys as you can see this took a little bit less than 20 seconds and the status of this example says succeed success so if you go into the click to see more you might see that that might be the reason why uh sometimes it's just taking a little bit more longer that it just depends on the transaction depends on the gas fee depends on the nuns that has been created to your pending transaction into ethereum so there you have it guys hopefully this was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully i will see you in the next one